Hello there, my Black Honey Dupes video recently passed 1.1 million views. Cannot get my head around that, but what I can do is continue the colour theme by sharing Clinique's Black Honey Gloss this time, alongside other brownie berry glosses that fall within this trend. Fall, pun intended, perfect autumnal shades. Lip deepening glosses seem to be having a moment, so I'll be talking about Clinique's gloss characteristics and finding other formulas that tick that Black Honey sort of box. To thank you for the million views milestone I'm also sharing the black honey love with you giveaway details later on this video is sponsored by Squarespace I'm back working with the popular website builder this year and you can find my previous black honey color comparisons in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com this color scheme looks cohesive to me but I'm not going to use the word dupes this time around none of these shades are exact matches for black honey gloss so it's more about finding something with a similar feel or vibe in a tone that might appeal to you you can hear the history and hype around the iconic Black Honey Almost Lipstick in my previous dupes videos. The original looks deceptively dark, but it applies as a sheer, warm, buildable blackberry. Other colour keywords I'd use are raisin and plum. Looks a bit different on everyone and deepens and enhances your natural lip colour. It took off on TikTok and has been consistently sold out for a couple of years, so when I spotted it in stock in Australia recently, I snapped up three to send to three of you. For details, and to enter this international giveaway, visit the recent Black Honey Reel on my Instagram at Matilda on Video linked below. The gloss spin-off Pop Plush Creamy Lip Gloss in Black Honey Pop launched in August last year. It's meant to be an ultra cushiony, super buttery gloss that hugs the lips with plush shine and all day hydration. Let's break that down. The feel is buttery, a bit balmy too, and I find it very comfortable, but it's not comfy like a thin liquid lip balm or light lip oil. This has stick and tack to it like a satisfying old school gloss, but I like that. It means it'll stick around longer and the colour doesn't bleed. Much more luminous and glassy than the natural shine of almost lipstick. All day hydration, it does contain nourishing ingredients like aloe, avocado and shea butters and hyaluronic acid and the texture does linger for a while but a gloss is personally never going to give me true all day hydration. The shade is a bitten kind of colour and as it builds there's more red to it than the black honey bullet. You can dial it up from a subtle black current to a a bolder red current. More pigmented than the original, but I love how evenly it applies and wears. Darker glosses can be patchy, that's just how the pigment cookie crumbles, but this fades so evenly. The doe foot is an interesting flat hourglass shape. I usually prefer something really plush like the Dior Lip Glow Oil doe foot coming up, but this has grown on me and it controls the colour nicely. Scent, fragrance free. Let's look at some other deep chocolatey glosses in the context of Black Honey. Dior Lip Maximizer in 020 Mahogany is a stunning place to start. Dior Lip Glow Balm in Mahogany was a nice Black Honey match in my previous video too. Iconic, comfy, not sticky, plumping gloss, tiny tingle from the peppermint flavour but the shine is really what gives my lips a fuller look. Beautifully subtle shade, even as you build it stays sheer and understated, lovely over a rosy lip liner. Let me know if you'd like me to include liner suggestions in part two. Key ingredients, cherry oil and hyaluronic acid, scent Dior's signature sweet vanilla peppermint. Dior Lip Glow Oil in 020 Mahogany is its juicier sister. Absolutely love this formula, I've been raving about it for years and finally used a forwarding service to meet Mahogany. This colour isn't in Australia yet. The texture sits comfortably between a gloss and an oil. It's not watery thin but it's not too thick either. My favourite cushiony doe foot. Dior's colour reviving technology, which equals soft bright pink on everyone basically, means this chocolatey shade has a pretty rosy pink tone to it, a glassier, smoother version of Lip Maximizer. Key ingredient, cherry oil, scent, same minty vanilla. The Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in 09 Chocolate is here from my Tinted Lip Oil edit, very popular formula in that part of the industry. This has a rich history like Black Honey dating back to the 1950s, but it was revamped in the last couple of years. The doe foot alone means people often compare this to Dior Lip Glow Oil, but Clarins feels thinner and more slippy. It feels like it sinks into the lips more and has less stick, so it certainly won't hang around as long as the Black Honey Gloss. Key ingredients, jojoba and hazelnut oils, scent, strong sugary berry. 
resetting the swatches to get closer to Black Honey again and bringing in a recently released deep option. Lisa Eldridge Gloss Embrace in Decade is a decadent dramatic chocolate brown slash berry. This is one of my favourite truly nourishing comfortable lip glosses with a plush lightly buttery lasting feel. More dark chocolate compared to the warmth of Black Honey. Despite that darkness the colour applies and wears evenly. Key ingredients wild mango kernel butter, acai berry oil, sunflower seed oil and vitamin E oil, scent fragrance free. Fenty Gloss Bomb in Hot Chocolate is one of the most famous chocolatey glosses and a consistent Sephora bestseller in a much more sheer, subdued style. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this fantastic, lightweight, super shiny formula. It's much thinner than the grip and stick of Black Honey Gloss, nice larger doe foot, very comfortable and carefree to wear. This is described as a shimmering, rich brown and looks cooler than the others. It's missing a bit of that berry warmth. Key ingredient, shea butter scent strong sweet peach vanilla. NYX Butter Gloss in Ginger Snap is a drugstore formula that fits the brownie berry mood but starts to shift into softer shades, a transition shade for future installments perhaps. I have two more glossy parts planned if you're up for it. I saw a few different creators wearing this shade recently and loved the Your Lips But Better subtle boost it added with a more milk chocolate brown warmth. Could even call it caramel compared to the others. Creamy is the main characteristic here, smooth like buttercream with nice medium color coverage. Key ingredient, beeswax. Scent, sugary cookie dough sweet. Very happy to be back in a black honey headspace. If you'd like to revisit similar colours I compiled in previous videos, you can find a running sheet of shades on my blog, matildaonvideo.com. Much like the ease of a sheer lip colour like black honey, I'm such a big fan of the simplicity of Squarespace websites, with sleek templates to get you started and easy tools to tweak your design, create blog posts or add social links and embed YouTube videos. If you're looking to launch a blog, website or online store, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Thank you for coming along to another Black Honey family barbecue with distant gloss relatives helping to piece together parts of this shade family tree. If you're an original Almost Lipstick fan, have you tried its gloss sister? Can you pick a favourite? I almost think I prefer the red hint, feel and flushed wash of colour of the gloss. Let me know which chocolatey product you'd pick. Don't forget to head to the Instagram reel linked below to enter my trio of Black Honey Tubes giveaway and let me know if you're interested in seeing more glosses that belong in this colour group. Thanks for watching, see you next time!